Good morning. So today we're working on custom doors, something that we talked about quite a while ago and it just hasn't come up yet in the lesson plan. So um, today we're going to be working on um, one of two types of doors. We'll do the other door tomorrow. Today we're going to do a funk door, which is a sliding door, um, or I guess it, it's, um, think of it more as an entity that moves in a linear fashion. And then uh, tomorrow we'll do a funk door rotate, which allows us to create custom rotating doors. So today's doors are going to slide up, down, left, right, forward, backward, whatever. Um, and then tomorrow's doors, we're going to have them rotate. So I'll go ahead and show you demonstration and we'll get into the entities, how to make it work. And then um, I'll give you the assignment. So here we are in uh, my level. There's a building utilizing what I was talking about yesterday, simple block with a bunch of uh, building textures on it. And then I've got this, well, there's that guy walking by. Um, I've got this little wood panel right here. So when I walk up to it and I press E, it slides out of the way. And when I press E again, I can get it to close. So this is a, uh, an entity, we are, well, it's a brush turned into an entity, and it's called a funk door. So super easy to make. Um, they can go in any direction you want, but we're going to start with a brush. All right, so let's do, let's do one right here. So I'm going to take my block tool, all right, and I'm going to figure out where I just drew that. Oh, it's way up in the sky. That's why I don't see it. There it is. Let's bring that down to ground level. All right, so I'm going to create just a regular brush, okay? Nothing spectacular or weird about it yet. So it's just a regular brush. I'm going to set it like right there. I'm going to apply a material to it. I'm going to go ahead and Pick a wood material. Let's do something simple. That'll work. All right. Okay. So I've got this little panel here. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little thinner. It's a little thick for a, a door or a, a sliding panel of some sort. All right. So here is my sheet of plywood, and we're going to turn this into a sliding door. So we're going to take our selection tool. I'm going to come over to any of the two-dimensional views. All right, these are the two-dimensional views. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to tie to entity. And in the class, I'm going to switch it to funk door. All right, not funk door rotating. That one's a bit more complicated. We'll do that one tomorrow. We're going to start with just funk door. Click on that. Select apply. All right. And, um, and, and there's not a whole lot left to it. Actually, it's fairly simple. Um, so now you'll notice we got the little purple ball in the middle. So what that indicates to us is that this is an entity now. It's not a regular brush. Um, now we need to look at the direction that the door opens, right? Because that's that's important. So I'm looking from the top view here. I can see here's one of the houses right here. Here's the other house. And then right here in between them is the door. So the way we determine the direction the door opens is if you scroll down through its properties here and you look for move direction down here at the bottom, move direction. If you click on that, you're going to see this little black um, compass looking thing. All right. Now the compass, this little black directional compass matches the, the top view of your map. So if we look at this, we see this little line right here indicates it's going to the right, which means that this door will slide to the right. If I rotate this around to the other side, that means it's going to go to the left. If I take this thing and point it this way, it's going to go this direction up. And then same thing if I want to go this way, it would go this direction. So the north, south, east, west. That's all determined 
by this little compass thingy right here. Now, um, let's say I want it to go this direction. Now, one thing to be aware of is you normally want to keep it on a, a 90 degree, um, you know, on grid compass heading. So if we look at this and, and knowing what we know about uh, degrees on a, you know, on a, a circle or a compass or whatever, zero is going to be, you know, one direction. And as we move this around, we always want to be on our 90s, right? So if I move this upward, see how that middle number is 90? If it was like, you know, 100, the door's not going to move straight. It's going to move kind of 10 degrees off to the side a little bit. So what I would want to do is come up in here and manually type in 90. And that's going to make this line nice and straight. So this door would move perfectly straight in this direction. Now, if I want it to move, you know, this direction, I, I happen to land on 180, which was exactly the number I was looking for. But if it was a little bit off, if it was 184, and I want the door to move to the left, this direction, I would come in here and I could type in 180, and that'll straighten out the line for me and get it perfectly straight on grid so the door moves and it's not crooked or anything like that. So this little black compass thing here gives me my north, south, east, west direction. So, you know, up, down, left, right here. Now, if I wanted this door to move up or down, like actually up or down in the game world, this little drop down menu right here is up or down. So if I wanted this panel to move up, there is no compass setting for that. I simply come here and select up or down. Okay, so I'll go ahead and have this one move up. So I'm going to click apply. All right, let's see, nothing there. Now we're going to go to our flags, important. And there's a couple things we want to play with in here. So um, toggle, I like to check toggle. What that means is when you open the door, the door will stay wherever you put it. So if you open it, it stays open. If you close it, it stays closed. Um, if you uncheck toggle, if you leave it unchecked, what will happen is when you open it, the door will automatically close after a couple of seconds. So kind of depending on what your door is, you know, if it's an automatic door in the game, um, that's going to close behind the player. You don't need to check this, but if it's a regular door, uh, you know, it's going to stay open once you open it. So I like to check toggle. Um, I like to check use opens. So what this does is it means I have to press E to open it, which is the opposite of touch opens. So if you want an automatic door, a door that opens, you know, like at the grocery store or whatever, we would say touch open. So that means you walk up to it and you touch it, it's going to pop the door open. If you check use opens, what that's going to do is you have to press E to open it. All right. Um, We'll play around with a few of these others in here later. They're, they're not important for today's lesson. So just keep in mind toggle and then use opens or touch opens. These are going to be the ones that you generally use uh, on most of your doors. The rest of them are going to be uh, particular incidents where we've got to lock the door or NPCs can't open it, those kind of things. But for your average door throughout your game, it's probably going to be toggle and use opens. Those are going to be the two that you're going to check. Um, back on the main screen, I'll go ahead and name this door. I'll call it um, Slider 2. Click Apply. I don't have a parent. Everything else is good. Um, I like to disable shadows on my doors because they actually make some pretty weird shadows in the game sometimes. So um, you'll see. Uh, you can play with this kind of at your own if you want to or not. Um, this is the speed, how fast the door moves. So you can adjust this number here and it will uh, higher numbers, doors faster, lower number, doors going to go slower. We don't need to do any of these. The delay before reset, this would be if you t um, don't toggle the door, how long before it's going to close. Lip. So what this is, is um, how far the door um, opens pretty much. It helps us adjust that. So by default, 
the way the door works is when it opens, it will take its end point and it will move this side all the way to the end point where the other side originally was. So if my door opens to the left, it's going to take this right edge and it's going to move it all the way to where the left edge is at. That's the default setting. If you play with this lip setting, we could have the door stick out a little bit or you can have it retract further into the wall. Um, so you kind of just play with it and see what works best in your map. It's, it's not, um, you don't even have to change it if you don't want to. But um, just by default, be aware that it's going to take the edge and it's going to move it all the way to the other edge. So same thing if it's going up or down. If I move this door up, it's going to take this bottom edge and it's going to move it all the way to here. If I move it down, it's going to take the top edge and it's going to move it all the way to here. So if you want the door to stick out a little bit or retract underground or something like that, you would play with the, the lip number. Um, let's see. <coughs> that is about it for today as far as these settings. There's other settings we'll play with as we do some different types of scenarios. Um, we can put text in here if someone tries to open a door when it's locked and, and those things. Um, let's go ahead and apply. Close this and let's test our door. Let me go ahead and run my map. All right, here's the map. There's the piece of wood. So I'm going to touch it. Nothing happens. I walk up to it, press E, it moves up. If I press E again, moves down. Okay, and then I've still got this one over here. All right. So this is our most basic door. Um, we're going to add the capability to these tomorrow to open them through a button rather than the actual door itself. But for today, um, that is your basic funk door that slides in any direction, forward, backward, left, right, up, down, uh, diagonal if you play around with the settings a little bit.